Hey, how you doing? I'm Hassan and I'm an American chauffeur. Okay, on the uh, last video, <clears throat> I had put a diagram up. Let me get, let me go ahead and get to it here. Okay. And we were dealing with trauma. Now, what this represents here, what this represents here is um, the time that you're spending with doing Uber, you spending the time you're doing spending doing ride share, which is that's half of your life, really. That's half of your life that you spending doing ride share. You're doing 12 hours a day. We'll go back over again. We're doing 12 hours a day. One, two, half, 12, half of your life. Okay. Then you've got a quarter of your life here, okay, where you're at home, and I had mentioned that I hope your home life is good enough that you don't have to go home and then somebody say, what you been doing, or whatever, or cause you any kind of extra trepidation. But you have one quarter of your life to pull together everything because remember, you spent the day out here being traumatized by Uber and Lyft. They ain't paying you enough, right? You you in danger. You know, you get a passenger key. See? And then passengers have no problem traumatizing, traumatizing your ass for the simple reason. They've been getting most drivers who are down here doing, like, don't care. But you come along and you care. If you didn't care, you wouldn't be concerned. If you didn't care, you wouldn't be concerned about Uber not paying you enough, Lyft not paying you enough. A ride share ain't paying you enough. You're concerned, you vocalize it, you're ready to go out there on strike. You're being traumatized by these companies. Just straight up. Okay, 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 thank you so much for that. You're using one quarter of your life to try to keep everything together. And see, because I'm single, I ain't have to deal with no BS once I got home. And like I mentioned, I got a housekeeper, so, you know, I come home, be it, you know, everything's, you know, livable. Okay. This much sleep so you can be comfortable, you can wake up and have good sense while you're out here driving. But when you're being traumatized by Uber and Lyft and you think that this half of your life got no effect on this one quarter of your life here, Do you think that all of this trauma you're going through in this half of your life has no effect on this quarter of your life? Are you sleeping if you're being healthy, doing the right thing and being healthy? Because during my sleep, say, if I have a bad dream, it's usually because I you know, have a passenger in the car and I missed that exit going down 400. <laughs> and I wake up and say, oh my goodness, I'm glad it was just a dream. Because <laughs> it take you, you miss that exit, it's going to take you 15 minutes, what if, you know, to get back straight. Anyway, anyway, anyway. But it, you need, it would be a good idea to be able to see how that kind of trauma affects you in your whole life. All of this here is ride share. This over here is you trying to pull it back together, keep it together after you've been out there. You had a customer who, abused, who said something ugly to you, called you out your name, vomited in the car, whatever excitement that went on. Okay, see. And you gotta recover from all of that. What it does, 
I'm gonna tell you right now what it does. It tears you down if you're in trauma. Because that's what it is, that's all it is. You're doing some work that you really claim that you don't like doing. I know you like doing it and everything because it just feels good within you. You know, you, you, every, every time you drop off a passenger, you know, you, you've been successful. So you can experience success a whole bunch of times a day. But if you don't have that on your mind, then it's all trauma. You ain't paid all the customer. But some, you know, you didn't get paid enough. You look at it and it was, you did 20 minutes and only got $8 or something like that. And you just, oh, just feel more messed up. Or, and be like, look, I'm working toward getting free. I got an exit strategy. That exit strategy is that I'm fixing to open up my own furniture shop. I'm fixing to open up my own, you know, maybe I might want to be a chauffeur. I'm fixing to open up my own restaurant and lounge. I'm fixing to, you know, put this money into buying more video equipment so I can make, you know, videos and stuff like that. You, you see what I'm saying? As long as you know where you're going, you, you ain't so traumatized. Trauma, trauma, trauma. Oh my goodness, trauma. And, and maybe in your sleep. If you remember your dreams or whatever, maybe. Trauma, trauma, trauma it up, trauma. Okay, the way you get out of that trauma is change, change the reason why you're doing this. You're doing it for just money alone, you're, you're going to be traumatized, okay? I'm going to be careful now. You're going to get traumatized. I mean, you're already complaining because it ain't paying. You're already complaining because it's dangerous, and I, and I agree with it, too. It's just that I'm happy to be a chauffeur now, and the danger is decreased. The only the danger that I'm dealing with most of is getting killed while I'm being out there just driving. All that old car jack, that could happen, too. But that mess been happening more often with those who are on Uber and Lyft carjacking and murdering and everything. And I mentioned in the last video, if you agree with that, with them carjacking, murdering, doing all that, then something's wrong with you. Excuse me one second. Okay, now, <clears throat> Another thing I want to mention to you too. Now I see the YouTube thing is heating up with people all being at each other on YouTube about their points of view and stuff like that, and it's a lot of fun. It can be a lot of fun, you know, because I'm looking at I'm looking I look at things more holistically. I just, hey, I didn't seen it before back in 2018. You know, a guy come on telling people, well, hey, you don't make your money by driving. But there's a lot of people who making their money because of ride share and they ain't driving. They don't have to. They're doing things to help us out. Drivers, those who are drivers, they were smart enough to see a direction and they taken advantage of that. Okay, they took advantage of it now, they don't have to drive no more. Okay? All right. No need to be mad at it. Okay? Because of the way, whatever it is you're looking at, if you're looking at the right thing in the right way, you're going to be free from, from, from the trauma. Because it's difficult to do anything and be successful if you feel like you're enslaved and enthralled to a lousy company like Uber and Lyft. And I'm going to tell you this before I go. Those of you who are doing the heaviest complaining, 
I had mentioned to you in several videos about what I seen about them guys doing the heavy complaining, but then they was bragging about here I am in beautiful Maui or whatever, some exotic place with the money and say it out their mouth with the money they made from Uber or trying to make from ride shit. Mm. It was talking all that stuff and all of a sudden they're getting all these cars, new cars, living in better places. Hell, I, I, I use ride share. I, man, please, I ain't homeless no more. <laughs> I started, might have started off in a Toyota Corolla. Now I drive a Cadillac Escalade. Okay. Or I can choose to drive a BMW. I mean, I got, you know, I'm, I'm, you know I've got several vehicles now in my company. I'm working through some things to get my company to grow and get some, um, get some qualified people behind the wheel. Um, so not everybody who does this thing gets stuck. It's just what I was looking at. I was never looking at it as I work for Uber or Lyft. Now, I can say this. Which one of you, if it was offered to you, wouldn't take that debt of that, uh, the owner of Uber or Lyft take their place. Would you change it? Oh yeah, right now you're gonna say that you would. 10 to one, you just take them millions of dollars. Say if you worked at Uber's office making hundreds of thousands by doing the algorithms. Let me tell you this right quick. The algorithms don't have care in it. You are digitized. They are digitized. And guess what? The algorithm, who, who made the algorithms? A human being did the algorithm. If they want care in the algorithm, the person who does the algorithm, who programmed it, they have to care. Like once again, we're doing it to ourselves. And the way to get free from it is is you care. You put care into what you're doing. Understand that they never, really, neither one of the companies never, you ain't part of the future. You just help them to get there. Whether you like it or don't like it. Care can be put into the algorithm, but the person who's doing the program, they got to have care within them. Every one of us, let me, let me oh shit. Okay, look. Every one of us, from the time that we were young, time that we was born, and before that, because our parents was doing it even before that, has been doing this same thing we're doing today. It's just modern now. We just got, you know, ain't no more horses and, you know, you know, we don't do horses and buggies now. You go in the factories now, you got machines doing the stuff and everything. And the same thing that happened to the elevator operators, and they had a union too, a strong union. They still went the way of the dinosaur, just like the way we, we gonna go. You know, just like the way the ride share industry gonna go. Okay, so anyway, 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 I'm gonna have to get some more because this gets really deep. And I want you to think and I want you to do your own research. And I want you to remember to care you got to put care into it. You're successful because you care. You got a good rating because you care. Okay? Keep care in it. Okay? Whatever you do, you put care in it. And it will help you get further and you won't feel so traumatized. By applying care and practicing it, you can recover from all that old trauma mess that Uber and Lyft is putting on you. Now, other traumas you had in your past life, 
you may find something there in that for you too. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Until the next video, drive safe and drive with confidence.